It wasn't until I nearly died I realized that the sin I was involved in was leading me to the grave. November 30th, 1992. As a child, I grew up in some tough situations. Mom and dad worked a lot on the road, so left to myself, I did whatever my heart desired. Feeling no love from home, I began to turn towards the wrong crowd of people, only because that's where I experienced acceptance and love. See, I was saved at the age of 12, but did not continue with the church, but rather slowly drifted out. Didn't feel as though I fitted into the church, once I stopped going, I began to hang around criminally minded people, overlooking the fact that the majority of them lived lives breaking all the rules. I was truly in a dark place at that point in time in my life. So dark that on two separate occasions, I nearly lost my life. It wasn't until I nearly died, I realized that the sin I was involved in was leading me to the grave. We gonna plan a church in February 2019, and if you on board, hey, let's roll. If you're not, hey, I pray for you. Feel me? <laughs> my name is Chris, and this is my wife, Caitlin. And God has called us to Ferguson to see lives transformed by the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oftentimes, when the name Ferguson is mentioned, it stands with a bad connotation. And that same could have been said about me in the past, but the Lord has changed me, and I know the Lord can do the same for Ferguson. Now in the summer of 2016, I took a survey trip down to Ferguson and instantly I thought, this place looks very familiar. After the survey trip, I couldn't get Ferguson off my mind. I began to get burdened for the people and the Lord began to speak to my heart about planting a church there. I believe God's opened a lot of doors and I believe what I'm doing is completely what God wants me to do, predicated upon the fruit I'm seeing and serving the Lord where I'm at right now. Example, as of today, we weren't going to see any souls saved, but we were just going to do a video shoot. And in regards to that, we seen four souls saved. They even came to us. So the fruit and essence of people looking for salvation. Each child says they don't have a dad at home. And it's sad, they don't have anybody to see a role model. I can show them what the Lord did for me so they can see what the Lord can do for them. It's our goal, 2019, February, to plant a church in Ferguson, Missouri. And I will be sent out by City Light Baptist Church with Pastor Matt Loman. The ultimate thing I want to see is people built up, seeing homes established, seeing relationships restored, and seeing lives transformed by the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's my ultimate vision for Ferguson. We all can be a part of what God is doing. We can all see God change lives and see families restored and do amazing things for the gospel of Jesus Christ. We need your help because we can't do this without your prayers. We need your help because we can't do this without God's people giving. We need your help because there is religious confusion which clouds the minds of many, stopping their ears from seeing the truth of the gospel. We need your help because in reality, the people are living in fear. Will you commit to helping out today any way the Lord lays on your heart? John 12, 25 says this, He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal life. Will you say yes to being part of seeing lives transformed by the gospel of Jesus Christ in Ferguson? I hope so.